One, two, three, let's burn. Hello my friends, it's Nina, welcome back. And today, we're going to play with some makeup. We are back at it again. I actually strained my hair for this video. We are going to play with the ColourPop Mulan collection. I received this collection as a PR package. I already opened it and I showed it on Instagram, but today we're going to try to, oh God, we're going to try to create a makeup look with these products. On my channel, I like to play with makeup, create looks that I usually wouldn't wear. It came with an eyeshadow palette, of course. Here is the palette. It's very red, very gold. So I knew I had to do a powerful look for this one. It also came with some blushes that I'm going to use. Neutral kind of blushes. I usually wear pinkish orange blush. I like my corally colors, but these are very neutral and then the lips I'm really excited about the lips We have this really bold red color that I never wear and then I have this gloss It's very shiny and then it came with this more kind of rose beige kind of color. It's a lipstick I'm very excited to try these out. I'm not really sure which products I'm going to use when I was trying to come up with a makeup look for this video I thought whether I should do a Mulan inspired look. I already got the whole straightened hair thing down. Usually my hair is wavy slash curly, but for this video I wanted to go with straight hair just because I feel like I look the most different with straight hair. But instead of a Mulan inspired look, I actually wanted to do a certain makeup look for the longest time. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to do an 80s sun inspired makeup look. 80s is one of my favorite K-pop groups. They are known for their powerful concepts. A few months ago they had a comeback and it was a great comeback. I'm also wearing an outfit that is inspired by his looks as well. I'm wearing this sort of mesh sheer turtleneck thing. It's very thin. And then on top, I'm wearing a silk shirt. It's just a silk shirt that I thrifted not too long ago. The inspiration for this look was from this. I'll show you a picture right now. I'm also wearing some silver necklaces under just so it's kind of subtle. But yeah, I'm going to go for a very red makeup look basically, if you guys don't know who ATs is. I just looked at this palette and I was like, this is perfect. I'm going to show you some pictures of sun right now. I'm going to do an inspired look, not a super exact look. I want to go for red metallic eyelids and kind of a smoky look. And then also, of course, I'm going to add some gems to my face. From this era, he had a lot of gems on his face, so I'm just going to add some red gems on my face. Kind of like a teardrop shape right here. I've been at home for the last week and a half. This is probably how things are going to be for a very long time, and sometimes it's just good to change up your makeup look, have some fun. This was actually also going to be one of my concert looks because I was going to go to some 80s concerts, but of course that's not going to happen. Everyone's safety and health comes first, so I'm going to wear this concert look at home. <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. Let's just get started. First things first, I'm going to put on my face as usual. I'm going to first put on a primer. This is the Peach C Peach Glow Makeup Base. So basically, the concerts aren't happening. Lots of things aren't happening. At first, I was a little sad and disappointed, but again, it's better that we're not risking anyone's health and safety. But that shouldn't stop us from having fun with our looks. Just because we can't show up to a concert with these looks doesn't mean we can't wear them. So today, I just wanted to kind of dress up a little bit, have fun with my makeup. I don't have a compact mirror. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't see anything. K-pop makeup looks are definitely a fun thing to do. So if you are a K-pop fan, just look at a look that you want to do and try to recreate it. Now I'm going to put on my BB cream. This is the same BB cream that I always use. Ah, oh, that's probably a lot. I'm going to try to kind of breeze through this because I've done this so many times. So San is one of my biases. My other bias is Mingi. I get comments a lot that I look like Mingi. I think it's funny. <laughs> I don't really think we look that alike. From some angles, I think we do, but we have a lot of different features. So sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't, but I just think it's kind of funny. But I do have two biases. And then I have six bias records because I love them all. They make great music. I got into them last year. I first heard about them in like March of 2019. It was a little after their debut. The way that I found out about ATs is people kept sending me pictures of Mingi and they were like, he kind of looks like you. And I'm like, who is this? And since then I fell down the rabbit hole and became a big fan. I became an ATini. I was going to see them in New York and LA, but that didn't happen. The concerts are postponed, but I don't really know when this virus is going to kind of chill out. I'm not trying to have expectations. No pressure on anyone. This is just like an unfortunate thing that happened. Here is concealer. This is my favorite concealer. This is the Sem Ideal Concealer Duo. I'm going to use the liquid part. Hopefully this time I don't go overboard. I always go overboard with my concealer. My eczema has been kind of flaring up because I honestly haven't been eating very healthy. I've been eating a lot of breads and pastas and sugars. It's okay. I'm 
kind of treating myself. It's also remember to stay healthy. Taking my beauty blender again, and we're going to blend this out. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> I look like a ghost. Now that we have done that, we're going to add some life back to our face. I'm going to go on to my eyebrows. Now with Sun, he kind of has really dark eyebrows, like very bold eyebrows. I'm not really sure if I'm going to try to replicate that because every time I try to make my eyebrows relatively dark, they look a little bit too dark, like little caterpillars on my forehead. So I'm just going to do my regular eyebrows, but make them as straight as I can. This, by the way, is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So my favorite title track from ATs is Answer, not just because it's the latest one but it's genuinely a really good song and then after that would be illusion because i think my favorite album is treasure ep3 i've been listening to it a lot because it's been kind of gloomy these days i've been trying to listen to happier music so i really like that ep i think that's good i'm gonna brush them out this look is definitely going to try to be a more bold look. We want to look powerful, like Mulan. Personally for me, she is probably my favorite Disney princess character. I don't know that much about Disney, but Mulan, what a hero. We've got some decent eyebrows. They're looking like sisters today. Usually they look like cousins. I think we're going to move on to the eyes now. I think I am going to set my face a little bit. I'm going to just add some sheer translucent powder. This is the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder. Powder in fair. Mm -hmm. I added a little bit of powder to my face. Now we're going to move on. Let's finally get into the Mulan eyeshadow. I'm going to go with strength. I'm going with this kind of burnt orange color. Is that what they call it? Burnt. Auburn. Auburn. Burn. Something like that. I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and we're taking strength, fallout, and here we go. <gasps> yes, you see that? Oh, that is nice. We're going to just pack this on. So Sun has very slight double eyelids, but most of the time they do appear to look like monolids, but it is slightly double eyelids. So hopefully I can get something similar to his makeup look. Do you see that? Ah, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Kind of bring it to your brow bone. We also want to go this way as well. There we go. And we're going to put it on the bottom as well. We're going to start kind of thick here, kind of make it thin as we go in. Do you see the difference that some eyeshadow on the bottom can make? I'm going to just put some more on the outside here. Don't be shy, put some more. This kind of look is also just very common in K-pop and basically makeup. But my inspiration really does come from Sun because that's where I saw this look. I love it. I think just in case, if this doesn't turn out being as strong as I think, I'm going to add some darker browns first and make a smoky look before I put on these shimmers. This is going to be a very metallic look because again, this is kind of a stage look. I mean, I'm not going on a stage, but I can feel like it. After we have put on strength, I'm going to go on to Guiding Spirit. It is this darker brown color. And then I think I'm going to finish off with True and then just go in with the shimmers. There we go. All the fallout. We're going to focus on this outer edge right here and then kind of slowly bring it in. It's going to be thicker here, thinner as we go in. Taking my blending brush, make sure the colors look blended. And then moving on to this side, there we go. And then just as a final base, I'm going to add True. It's this dark, ashy color. Yay, there we go, love that. So this is going to be close to your lash line. This palette is really good for smoky looks. I'm going to just put this tiny bit on the bottom here, close to your lash line. <laughs> so the smoky base is done. I'm going to just pile on the shimmers now. I am going to first start out with Undefeated. It's the red shimmer. <gasps> oh, I'm really excited about this. Okay, here we go. We're going to take it on our finger and just pat it on to the entire lid. <gasps> Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh my god. It is so strong. Pack it on all over the lid. Take a blending brush, blend it all out. Woo! It is coming together. I'm going to put the red on the bottom lid as well. I'm going to use a brush for precision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're here. Probably too much. Oops. I'm going to just blend it out a little bit. 
Moving on, I'm going to use Legacy. It's this dark brown kind of shimmery color. So you can still kind of see what we did before. Kind of kind of just add it on. Ooh, <gasps> yes. Adding the tiniest bit here. Now I'm going to use Defiant. It is a black shimmery color. Here we go. We're going to align our eyes, focusing on the outer edge. It looks like a night sky. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. I'm going to use Loyal. It is kind of like a dark orange glitter. It's kind of loose. Oh, it doesn't even really show up that much, but it does kind of show actually. It's like a nice fiery kind of glitter. There's hints of yellow. I see some greens. I think it'll just make the look more shiny. <gasps> yes, yes, twinkle, twinkle, little star. I'm going to add Loyal onto the inner corner of my eye just to make it pop. I'll also add the Swift. It's a nice gold color. I'm going to put it on the center of my eye. There she is. Then I'm basically using this entire palette, but I'm going to use Strike a Match. It's this white shimmer, and I'm going to kind of put this somewhere on my brow bone area. Tapping for fallout. I'm gonna kind of start here. Oh, yeah, okay, she's strong. Blend it out. And then on the inner corner here, just helps to make your face shine a little bit. I am going to line my eyes with a gel eyeliner. I have this dark brown one. So there are the eyes. I'm going to put on a lip now just because nothing's happening down here. I am going to use this nice bold red color. Here we go. This is the Lux Liquid Lip. I want to try this out, so here we go. <gasps> yes. Oh, this is nice going to blot this out. So there is the liquid lipstick. Now I'm going to put on the gloss just because I actually do want to try this out. Here is the gloss. It is a nice champagne kind of color. I'm sure it's going to be just sheer so it's just a nice little coat on top. It smells nice. It smells kind of like honey. This will also make you sparkle. <laughs> I think that's a nice touch to the lips. I'm like contemplating whether I should put on falsies. I probably should. I haven't put on falsies since the last time I put on falsies for a video. I'm going to take the same ones just because they're the only ones I have. These will add some drama to the look. I'm going to take my eyelash glue. Here we go. San's not wearing falsies, but he has long eyelashes already. I don't have long eyelashes, so I'm going to add these just to help the look a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put all my falsies. That took forever. And then I also got these out of the way. I just put some stickers on my face. I got this at a craft store and I just put it on my face. If it's not sticky enough, which it probably won't be, just put on some eyelash glue. That's why I did it at the same time. My falsies, they looked better the last time. So I'm pretty much done with the eye makeup. I probably should have done my blush before I did this, but I am aiming for kind of below my cheeks anyway. I think this would work well as kind of like a contour. I'm going to kind of just shape my face a little bit. Son has a very chiseled face, so I'm going to try to replicate that a little bit. How do I go about doing this? I'm just going to kind of place it down here. This is the Good Luck Charm Blush. It's a nice warm color. I'm going to just use my blush brush. What if I put it... Oh, I see it. Okay, that's nice. I'm going to kind of put this below my cheekbone. This isn't a bronzer, but it's still... Oh, how do you see it? I'm not going to go too heavy. Blend out what I have, kind of raise it up so it's kind of like a blush as well. <laughs> now it looks like I have defined cheekbones. Do you guys see that? Wow, raise it up. I'm going to add some over here a little bit. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this blush onto my cheeks. This is called Matchmaker. Place it on my cheek. I always forget the bottom lashes. So that concludes this makeup look. This Mulan collection is perfect for this look. I really love the bold red. It is a nice red smoky look inspired by Sun from ATs, and I am pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm not really sure if my falsies are still on, but that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed me playing with the Mulan ColourPop collection. I hope that maybe you guys can try out this look or a similar look. Get creative, have some fun. I think it's still okay to send a virtual hug, so we're going to bring it in. This is probably the only human interaction you have right now so let's bring it in i will see you guys in my next video goodbye my friends
surprise mode again. <laughs> one, two. <laughs> Ninth member of ATs. Nine makes one team. Okay, goodbye.